In the yogic system, uh, the time between summer solstice and winter solstice is generally referred to as sadhana pada, particularly between starting from the Guru Purnima, which is the first full moon after the summer solstice or the southern run of the sun, to the winter solstice or a few days after that till probably fourth of January or fourth or fifth of January, this phase is referred to as sadhana pada or time to do sadhana. At a time, particularly in the northern hemisphere, when sadhana yields its best results, After the fourth or probably sixth of January, this is known as the Kaivalyapada. That means this is a time to harvest. This is a time to reap the benefits of one's, one's sadhana. You may be studying through the year, but it's at the examination time that you really… it really picks up pace, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> So similarly, this is the time to rev it up a bit. There are many aspects to this, but the most important being the shift in relationship between the sun and the planet has a certain impact on the system. The whole tradition of how to make use of these changes which are happening to our planet, of which we are just a part, to swing with the planet, not against it. The nature of human consciousness is such, You can do things without considering whatever movements that are happening in the natural scape. But that is usually for those who are on the ascetic path. Even they, Adiyogi himself, made changes for the seasons, considered the natural movement of energy and impact that the planet has and kind of fine-tuned his own sadhana. So it doesn't matter who we are, still it's relevant. The choice is either to swim against the current or with it. It is sensible to go with it. It is not that you cannot swim against it, you can, but unnecessary effort. What could be done with ease if you do it with a lot of difficulty? If I say, if I ask you how much is two plus two, if you go through a great struggle to arrive at the answer, then people will say he is a fool. So whatever can be done with ease, if you do it with great difficulty, that's what it means. It'll pay off in many ways. It is not necessary that uh, 
in the northern run of the sun, the Uttarayana, this year you're going to get enlightened, not necessary. But uh, if you could be one notch above where you are right now, that itself is a great blessing. That itself is a tremendous possibility. And that possibility is definitely there for those who really give themselves and learn to ride with the winds, learn to ride with the natural forces which are assisting us in a certain way.